Hey there, my name is Pastor Andrew Johnson. I pastor at the Princeton New Life Church of the Nazarene. Dr. Crump has talked about our emphasis on 24-7 prayer, and I'm here to share with you more about that. Uh, seven years ago, our church began engaging in something we call 24-7 prayer, where we would start praying nonstop and we would complete a whole week, morning, noon, and night without ceasing. We would just keep the fire on the altar burning in the sanctuary. And a few years ago, the Lord really started putting his finger in my back and say, invite the entire district to 24-7 prayer. And the longer I sat with the Lord with it, the more I, I began to feel that he was asking us to complete an entire year of nonstop prayer. You might be thinking, did he just say a year of nonstop prayer? Um, yeah, I just, I, I feel like the Lord is inviting us into greater intimacy and inviting us into a time as a district to just seek his face and not just his hand. Um, our founder, the Church of the Nazarene, used to give advice to his congregation. And he had six points that he would share with his congregation. And, and I, they're still applicable to today. To today. Um, some of the advice was, um, encourage the preacher, say amen, clap your hands while singing. But the last point of advice our founder would give his congregation every Sunday was pray the glory down. And I don't know about you, but I just sense a hungering in my heart to find myself in the manifest presence of the Lord every time I gather communally with our church in Princeton. And I just think the Lord is wanting that for our district. Jesus uh, quoted Isaiah 56 in Matthew 21, and he said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. So I think this effort is, is just an, an opportunity for SWID to rediscover what it means to be a house of prayer. Because in the promise of Isaiah 56, the Lord said, I'm gonna bring them into my mountain. I'm gonna bring them into my house of prayer, and there they'll find joy, there they'll find me. And this is the emphasis of 24-7 prayer is just to find ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Moses prayed the same thing. His prayer is really helpful. In Exodus 33, he said, Lord, show me your glory. And if your presence doesn't lead us, we don't want to go up from this place. And so I'm thinking that if SWID is able to pull together and accomplish praying for 8,760 hours nonstop, I think we're going to find that the Lord shows us His glory, His essence, His character, His nature, His love, His power. And then once having seen Him, I know that He will then lead us into whatever is next. So if you're here at Assembly and you are resonating with what the Lord is inviting us into in this year of nonstop prayer, we have a booth. Uh, for you to come by. If you're a lay, lay person, we want you to come, share your contact info so that we can keep you updated. Um, and as always, you can visit with your pastors and let them know um, just how excited you are, enthusiastic, how much you want to be a part. Pastors will continue being uh, just open and transparent through the process and we'll share whatever information you need. But come see us at the booth. And thank you for listening and thank you for being sensitive and obedient to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. And so if He is speaking to you, we just want to thank you for, for listening and thank you for responding.